The General Electric, Rolls-Royce F136 was an advanced turbofan engine being developed by General Electric and Rolls-Royce plc for the Lockheed Martin F35 Lightning II. The two companies stopped work on the project in December 2011 after failing to gather Pentagon support for further development. Topic development All early F-35s were to be powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 but it was planned that engine contracts would be competitively tendered from Lot 6 onward. The engines selected would be either the F-135 or an engine produced by the GE, RR fighter engine team and designated the F-136. The GE, RR fighter engine team was a cooperation between GE Aviation in Cincinnati, Ohio, United States 60% share and Rolls-Royce in Bristol, United Kingdom and Indianapolis, Indiana, USA 40% share. On 21 July 2004, the F-136 began full engine runs at GE's Evandale, Ohio facility. The engine ran for over an hour during two separate runs. In August 2005, the United States Department of Defense awarded the GE and Rolls-Royce team a $2.4 billion contract to develop its F-136 engine. The contract was for the System Development and Demonstration SDD phase of the F-136 initiative, scheduled to run until September 2013. The U.S. defense budget announced on 6 February 2006 excluded the F-136, leaving Pratt & Whitney, maker of the F-135 engine, as the sole provider of engines for the Lockheed Martin F-35 fighters. Congress, however, overturned this request and allocated funds for FY 2007 later in 2006. In November 2006, the General Electric, Rolls-Royce team successfully completed a three-month preliminary design review by the F-35 program office and the prime contractor, Lockheed Martin. On 13 February 2008, the GE Rolls-Royce fighter engine team successfully completed its critical design review CDR for the F-136. During CDR, the U.S. government's joint program office for the F-35 Lightning II validated and approved the design of the engine. Also during the review, every aspect of the engine design was analyzed and evaluated in order to proceed with the building of the first full development engines. The process involved 80 detailed component and module design reviews, involving technical experts from the JPO, General Electric, and Rolls Royce. On 20 March 2008, the F 136 successfully completed a high altitude afterburner testing program at the U.S. Air Force Arnold Engineering Development Center in Tennessee, including common exhaust hardware for the F 35 Lightning II aircraft. All test objectives were reached as planned using an engine configured with conventional takeoff and landing CTOL and short takeoff vertical landing STOVL common exhaust systems. The engine configuration included a production size fan and functional augmenter allowing several run periods to full afterburner operation. The GE Rolls-Royce fighter engine team successfully completed short takeoff, vertical landing STOVL testing on an F-136 engine at the GE testing facility at Peebles, Ohio on 16 July 2008. The first complete new build F-136 engine began testing 30 January 2009, under the System Development and Demonstration SDD contract with the U.S. Government Joint Program Office for the F-35 Joint strike fighter program. This marked the first complete engine assembled following U.S. government validation of the F-136 design in 2008. The milestone was achieved one month ahead of schedule, citing the Weapon Systems Acquisition Reform Act of 2009. The GE Rolls-Royce fighter engine team submitted an unsolicited fixed price offer for the F-136 to the Pentagon on 28 September 2009. The fixed price approach would cover initial F-136 engine production, beginning with the F-136 second production lot. According to the GE Rolls-Royce fighter engine team, the proposal would shift significant cost risk from taxpayers to the fighter engine team until head-to-head -head competition begins between the F-136 and the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine in 2013. 
From 2006 to 2010 the Defense Department has not requested funding for the alternate F-136 engine program, but Congress has maintained program funding. On 19 December 2009, U.S. Congress approved continued funding for the F-136 engine program in fiscal year 2010. The U.S. Defense Department did not request FY 2010 funding for the F-136 engine program. In a report filed on 18 June 2009, the House Armed Services Committee cited Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine program cost overruns of $1.872 billion as cause to continue funding the F-136 engine. On 2 November 2009, the F-136 team said that they would redesign a small part of the diffuser leading to the combustor after a failure during testing. Testing resumed on January 22, 2010. The GE Rolls-Royce fighter engine team is currently in the fourth year of its System Development and Demonstration SDD contract with the U.S. Government Joint Program Office. The fighter engine team has totaled more than 800 hours of testing on pre-SDD and SDD engines. In early 2010, full afterburning thrust was reached in testing of the first production standard engine. On the 24th of March 2011, the Department of Defense issued a 90-day temporary stop work order after Congress failed to pass the defense budget. GE declared that it would continue work on the engine program with their own funds in spite of the stop work order, as allowed in the order and as had been suggested by Schwartz the previous year. However GE is limited to design work only, as the stop work prevents their use of the existing hardware. On 12 April 2011, GE reduced its team on project from 1,000 workers down to 100, who will work on the F-136 and engine technologies for future combat aircraft. GE will redeploy the workers to commercial projects, but will not hire the hundreds of new engineers it was expecting. On 25 April 2011, the Department of Defense ended the contract with GE and demanded that the engines built to date be turned over. On 5 May 2011, GE and RR offered to pay for the development through FY2012 and asked for access to the materials. By switching to self-funding the cost would reduce from $480 million a year to only $100 million, 60% to be paid by GE and 40% to be paid by RR. After self-funding the project GE and Rolls-Royce announced on 2 December 2011, that they would not continue development of the F-136 engine because it is not in their best interest. By then, the six engines had logged more than 1,200 hours of testing since 2009. During the year, GE said that development of the engines was 80% complete. The remaining work would have required $1.90 minus $2.6 billion in funding. Topic: <laughs> Design. The F136 produces 18,000 lbf (80.1 kilonewtons) of lift thrust in STOVL configuration. Combined with thrust from the lift fan, 20,000 lbf or 89.0 kilonewtons, and two roll posts, 1,950 lbf or 8.67 kilonewtons each, the Rolls-Royce lift system produces a total of 41,900 lbf, 186 kilonewtons of thrust. This compares with the maximum thrust of 23,800 lbf, 106 kilonewtons for the Harrier's Rolls-Royce Pegasus engine. Applications F-35 Lightning II Specifications Data from General characteristics Type, twin spool, augmented turbofan Length, 221 in 560 centimeters. Diameter, 48 in 120 centimeters. Dry weight Components 
Compressor, twin spool, counter rotating, axial flow, low aspect ratio. Combustors, annular combustor. Turbine, axial flow, counter rotating. Topic: Performance. Maximum thrust: 40,000 lbf, 25,000 lbf without afterburner. Power to weight ratio. Topic see also related development General Electric YF120 comparable engines Pratt & Whitney F135 related lists List of aircraft engines <laughs>